do a double review today. First of all, the Army Painter Masterclass Drybrush set. Uh, I'd seen the Artis Opus ones of these, really like the boxes, really quite think I've invested into them, but wanted to check if one I'd enjoy the painting style. Army Painter do a much cheaper version, so I thought I'd give these a crack before investing in potentially more expensive ones. Hope I enjoy how the uh, how the paint experience is with them. So different kind of style of brush, real fat, short headed brush, quite uh, sturdy bristles on the top and it's designed for a, a different style of paint and so you can do a bit more stippling you can do um, obviously the normal dry brush and you do with any other uh, flathead dry brush but i find you, you can't stipple as easily with the flat headed dry brush and i do find on certain things that the flat headed dry brush is just you know a bit fiddly to use and these apparently cover some of those issues uh obviously i've got a number of projects uh, projects on the way but don't really want to start a different painting technique on a pro on an old project so i dug out around in my box for a tank Found an oddball Sherman from Bolt Action that quite horrifyingly had been in the uh, pile of shame for two years going by the uh, leaflet that was in there. So, oddball Sherman and Kelly's Heroes. Uh, if you've not heard of it, uh, where have you been? Um, dig it out, watch the film. If you haven't, fantastic. Look, childhood favourite film and still is a favourite as an adult. Genius films. And I think Bolt Action and Warlord have done a brilliant job in reflecting those rules on the tabletop. So crazy rules like paint rounds for your Sherman, you have to adopt a squinty look when you're using Clint Eastwood's uh, model to get benefits, etc. A lot of fantastic rules. And the models are beautiful as well. I've got plenty of Shermans that I've done over the time. And this one's actually just the next level from it. Lots of extra details moulded in there to reflect, obviously, the, what goes on in the film. The characters in it as well, the metal figures you get, really do look very much like the actors. And just a great little kit. Uh, as with all resin and metal kits, before you build it, wash it clean it properly you know the drill so all i've done is i quickly built it uh, undercoated it black three colors on the parchment paper that i've stuck on the table there uh, a black brown at the top uh, brown violet in the middle and a, a german cam beige at the bottom just to start blending through and literally just using the large brush to start with 50 50 mix of the the darker and the mid-tone and then i'm just using that stippling effect really quickly to undercoat uh, the model what's really nice about these brushes i find that when you, you start drying off a bit too much because you are doing a bit of dry brush there you can just dip it onto like the wet palette you've seen them doing there and it just livens the paint up in the brush that bit more so you actually get a lot more mileage out of your, your paint obviously take care not to uh, put too much water on but i think through the, the through the wet palette you don't draw too much into the brush so actually really impressed with kind of how that works uh, really quick to undercoat and what i like about the stippling impact and the size of the brushes is i've not seen any brush streaks uh, any patches where it wasn't covered properly which you can get if you're trying to do it with the traditional flat dry brush or you're just using a standard brush just to paint on so uh, really nice and you can build up in real gentle layers uh, the set's really you know quite decent value really it's about like about 14 quid ish a discount i'm sure you'll find different pricing in, in other places so you know it's quite a decent uh, cheap brush set and the three different sizes work kind of really well uh, you'll see i've used different sizes to get into different elements of the model you know in between the tracks etc so uh, it seems to be every size covered obviously this is a fairly small model i think a big size model you might want a larger brush or, or smaller but that no, seems like uh, to cover all the bases so now i'm just using a uh, mix well it's not a mix now a standard brown violet just do the next layer and when you i'm doing the next layer i'm sort of staying away from the very edges and the uh, crevices in the model so that you get some of that tone showing through and you've got um, like a heavier first layer and the second layer is just that little bit lighter in color and in the amount of paint you're trying to get down and just that gentle um, stippling kind of the way you're doing it and you literally are just stabbing it the brushes seem to be holding up relatively well um, to this i'll show you at the end how they've how they've held up but i think you know you're doing this kind of technique with a normal brush you'll destroy the brush in in one go so um quite happy so far you know it's this was about six minutes at the moment into this stage now and i'm about ready to start on the um final stage so it is quite a quick process to do so now i'm mixing in the beige color into the brown violet again 50 50 and this is just being real gentle over the top of what you've already done just to start adding some um, light effects and highlights and then mixing in a little bit layer of, of purer beige color and being really gentle um on the areas of the vehicle that would actually hit the light uh, and take up that tone effect so very quick a very uh, easy process to be doing um nice brushes in the hand they feel really good and the, the, the final effect on the tank, I'm sort of really happy with them. Just going around, you see here, put, I always try and put the turrets or whatever you do, if you're in a multi-part vehicle, kind of stick it together before you 
feel you're finished so that you make sure you're actually blending the tones through properly so just you know go back around in any area you think oh yeah I could do with a bit more because of how the light would hit it just go back around before you finish but that all, all in was about nine minutes to base coat and you see there um, quite an effective tone coming through on there there isn't too much bleed off across to the bits of the model you don't want to paint so actually you still can be fairly accurate with this even when doing this kind of technique so actually very impressed with the brushes for um, the speed and the way they put the paint down which is really good now at the end of that uh, the brushes yep yeah, they seem in decent condition there's a few stray um, hairs and a few patches of damage but I suppose that's to be expected uh, with this kind of painting technique and also when the brushes are brand new there's going to be a few bristles that are going to come out Took a lot of cleaning up, used a lot of brush soap to get the paint out of these, but again, they do hold a lot of paint and that's part of the style that you can liven it up kind of when you're doing it. But after I cleaned them up, took a few stray bristles off, they do look in decent shape and you know when they've dried out, they look uh, like they're gonna last for a fair while. I quite enjoyed the painting style. Quickly finished off the tank um, in just standard how you would normally paint a vehicle. Really happy, lovely model, uh, well worth getting if you've not already got that for bolt action. And again, worth trying a new painting technique. So I hope you enjoyed that.